somebody was asking about uh, the sum range sorry we didn't get to that uh, yet uh, but yeah who was that person who was asking about uh, is he still there yeah 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 i, I was asking okay cool cool so basically uh, um, i had to cover that as well today but uh, due to time lag i couldn't but yeah uh, just to give you a feel of that don't want to you know uh, keep you on hold so if you click on sum if uh, you give a range okay so suppose this is the date range okay i have selected this date range okay click on comma and select one particular uh, suppose i think there are unique dates but let's see if they have uh, so suppose i have selected this particular uh, row uh, as my one particular unique date then comma then give a sum range so uh, sum range is optional first of all it's not necessary to give a sum range but yeah uh, i don't i what what is happening here is let's see the formula sum if uh, ae2 ae1001 so always if you are trying to you know read excel uh, always try to do one thing uh, always try to uh, just go through the formula and check the uh, row number and uh, column name as well okay so what what i'm doing is if i click on this formula everything will be highlighted anyways so a6 to bottom a933 it is getting selected as our sum range okay and sorry as our uh, value okay the range basically where we have to give condition on because sum and if combination of sum and if so first uh, uh, calculation will give you a range and then again the second will give you the criteria okay so criteria is my a9 uh, something a933 okay and uh, whatever the value whatever the date that it has in a933 is my criteria and now my sum range is basically an optional value which i can select or not if i want and then this sum range is what what it is doing it is it is giving you calculation based on a particular date from ae column and taking the sum of af okay all together and giving you one particular value so that is coming out to be 3837 did you understand or do you want me to repeat can you repeat please sure so what is happening here is sum if is a combination of sum and if okay so ae2 ae6 to ae1001 is our this particular date range okay i have selected just one uh, date which is in 993 or 933 i don't remember exactly what was it yeah 933 so this is my uh, row ae2 a one thousand one. Okay, so this is my A one thousand one. We can uh, have the short window as well as to understand the part. Okay, cool. Yeah, better. So ten. Okay, A six right. to eight. Okay, and then if I select A E six, A seven. Okay. And then I'm selecting the range. I mean, it doesn't matter the sum range. So what we can do, what we can see is like, uh, right now it is just one value. If I replicate it. So if I do control D, so you can see that is a sum. So 5193, 2837 is coming up here. So what is happening here is, so now in, in the range of A10, A6 to A10, basically from A6 to A10, okay. We are having two shipment date, 15, 6, 2015, okay, 15th. June 2015 is there are two rows for the shipment date. Okay. And uh, on this particular date, I want to see how much profit I made. Okay. So that's what it is doing. So some if is taking the range of the values from A6 to A10. Okay. All the values. And then I'm just con giving condition on, on A7, but it is finding out the values of A7, 15 uh, June 2015 from A6 to A10. So range and then criteria. And then as the formula suggests, sum range. So now I'm not uh, getting a sum or uh, taking a value of one particular bit. I'm taking the sum of all the profit made uh, from A6 to A, sorry, AF6 to AF1000. So that is uh, giving me the sum of 
uh, profit of all the uh, values. So this is just the sum range to select a particular column which is having uh, on on top of which we want to perform a calculation. This is completely optional. Okay. okay. Basically, it is the criteria value, and we have duplicate uh, duplicate criteria value. It will provide the sum of all and the duplicate yes. criteria value. If it doesn't have. It will just give you the same value as you yeah. can use it using normal sum as well, or like. Uh, using a V lookup, you can get the same value as well. So that is also there. But uh, yeah. if you have one particular criteria and matching criteria in multiple uh, rows, then you can get a sum of it. And that sum range will provide the value of that particular uh, range where you have given the information as sum range. Okay. Got it.